Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brad O'Dell, and welcome to the first ever paintball road trip of the Maritime Milson podcast. Just last weekend, we went to Atlantica Paintball in Hillsborough, New Brunswick for some amazing winter ball. The refs were great. The field was great. The snow was soft. Everyone was happy. Everyone was having a blast. It wasn't too cold. It was just a great day of winter paintball. So we want to bring you along for the entire trip. So let's go take a look. Let's get out of here. On the road to Hillsborough. With the cat. Yeah, leaving the cat. <laughs> what was in that bag? So somebody forgot their boots upstairs. Actually, it was more me because I forgot to bring the boots down and I forgot to actually prep on the way back up. Prettiest paintball room in the Maritimes. Stop it. Jukebox, jukebox, could you, could you give us a word? What do you expect to happen in Hillsboro? What lip sense lipstick are you wearing to match oh your mask? Oh my god. Look at this, do you know any paintballer? That wears this coat to the field. I, like I don't know. I don't know. Do the, does does the boot clash with with the outfit? I don't know. <laughs> okay, one last check to make sure that the gear we grabbed actually is the right gear. So, I'll figure out what's in bag number one is my ghetto ass mask. Oh yeah, I think it's falling apart. Okay. Markers, tanks, mags, hoppers, pods. Onward to Walmart. So where we're going, Atlantica Paintball. Really nice field, amazing field. Uh, it used to be a junkyard. So they cleaned it up and uh, they got some really interesting bunkers. So I mean, you know, you go to a typical paintball field, and it's pallets. Nine times out of ten, it's pallets. And or tires. And tires. Which they do have. They do have tires. Uh, and 55-gallon drums. That is like the main three things. This field's got cars as bunkers. Old cars. And then it's got uh, the crushing unit, like what are they called? The compactors off, off garbage trucks. It's got a trench, like a concrete trench. And then they got trains. They have, they have. That's that's pretty much like their main draw. Uh, second draw to this field, which is amazing. One indoor plumbing. Uh, it's heated. They have a heated indoor like staging area. Um, ish. ish. It's a very very big room and it's hard to heat. Yeah. Um, but it gets you out of the wind, which is half of the equation right there. And then uh, they have a washer and a dryer on site. Uh, so during these winter games, which is what we're doing here. Uh, playing in the snow. You throw your mitts, or your gloves, your hat, your socks if you want, throw all that stuff into the dryer. And boom! It's great. It's awesome. Um, there's nothing with, nothing sucks more than, than wet socks. That's why we have like six pairs in the trunk right now. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, I can't wait. I'm going to see all the guys. There's a ton of guys from Nova Scotia going to be there. so It's going to be a blast.
It's officially the day after Hillsborough. Had an awesome time. Field was great. Uh, snow made it absolutely epic. Paint was okay. Make bad guys had some trouble. Sorry about the lack of video of us leaving. Wicked time constraint. I had to go help host a, a beard competition, so we had to book it pretty quick. Um, let us know what you think of the video. Post a comment below, or you know, shoot us a message, whatever. And uh, do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And. Uh, Keep an eye out, more of these are coming. We got a big trip to uh, North Carolina for Snake Eater Proxy work coming up and trust me, the production value of that's going way up. So, thanks for watching, cheers.